Christmas message posted on his official Twitter account. The APC flag bearer in the video message also advised his opponents to join hands in moving the country forward, irrespective of their political affiliations. Let's take a look. On this special day, I stretched forth my hand in fraternal affection and great joy to Christians and all who joins in celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Christmas is a period of spiritual uplift as both Christian and non-Christian are moved to reflect upon God's love for mankind and what truly it means to love your God, your neighbor, and yourself. I say Merry Christmas to the farmer, the student, the laborer, the artisan, the all professionals, the entertainer, the teacher, the police officers, the market woman, the soldier, and to all Nigerians. I also extend my wishes for a good, happy Christmas to my political opponent also. No matter our political differences, we are all Nigerians and we must move this nation forward. Therefore, let the hope symbolized by this season of celebration also herald our renewed hope in the Nigerian of our dreams. May the joy and the great gift of Christmas be the renewal hope that we can and we forge a better Nigeria with the help and guidance of Almighty God above. May God bless Nigeria, bless you. Merry Christmas to all of you. Well, in the meantime, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, in his Christmas message also posted on his official Twitter account, prayed for divine intervention for Nigeria so that the country may experience tranquility, peace and prosperity. My name is Atiku Abubakar. On behalf of myself, my family and our great party, the People's Democratic Party, I extend my felicitations to our Christian brothers and sisters on this joyous season of Christmas. May the good Lord grant you and all yours unlimited joy and sustained happiness. May his divine intervention grant our dear country Nigeria tranquility, peace and prosperity. Let us remain steadfast in prayers for a greater Nigeria after the elections of next year that will be a shining example for our present and future generations. Merry Christmas. May God bless you and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Well, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, on Christmas Day visited one of the internally displaced persons camps in Bainway State to celebrate with displaced persons. Obi, in his speech, regretted the continuous stay of Nigerians in IDP camps across the country. The former Anambra State Governor donated three million naira to the camp and appealed to the federal government to do whatever it takes to ensure that Nigerians don't leave as refugees in their country. I mean, it is so refreshing, Dr. Abati, to see these candidates come out and share their thoughts about Christmas and what to do on Christmas Day. Particularly interesting was Peter Obi's visit um, to the IDP camps. It was quite different from the others because he did go in and spent the day. And I believe he also went to Kogi State. State as well after visiting the Benue IDP camps. I mean, this is what we need to see um, from these candidates as well. Yes, I, I think uh, all the candidates have done very well. Yes. Mr. Peter Obi, uh, apart from just issuing a statement, went yes. uh, to do Christmas with uh, internally displaced persons. Uh, he also later went to Kogi, as you pointed out. Mm -hmm. And in Benue, he made one very strong point, which is that nobody should be displaced inside Nigeria. That no Nigerian citizen should be a refugee yes. inside his own country. Because those persons in internally, internally displaced uh, uh, camps, uh, they are, do they even know it is Christmas? So Mr. Peter will be going there, is very strong symbolism, mm -hmm. identifying with the poor, identifying with the afflicted, identifying with people who have been displaced, and their only offense is that they live in a country 
where being a citizen is quite a major challenge. Uh, so that's in order. And uh, uh, the governor, Sam Alotum, was very appreciative and, uh, you know, barely stopped short of endorsing him for the presidency and described him as a good person. As for um, Ashwa Jubala Metinumbu, the candidate of the uh, All Progressives Congress, I like his statement. Mm. If you look at the uh, statement in full, he talks about love. Love your neighbor, love uh, God, and love yourself. And he said he was stretching forth his hand, the hand of fellowship, and the tone was in keeping with the spirit of the season. And of course, he also talked about his political opponents, um, saying, look, whatever our differences may be, this country can only move forward if we all come together, together. which is a no-brainer. It's a good point. Then, of course, he said, this is a season of hope, which is true because our Lord Jesus Christ symbolized hope, symbolized salvation. And he said, well, this season of hope is leading to renewed hope, which he thinks is what uh, Nigeria needs. And, you know, that, that would be a campaign line there, you know, reminding you of his uh, uh, renewed hope agenda. However, in the evening, I noticed something. You know, I passed in front of his uh, body lawn residence. The crowd of uh, people there. I saw it too. I was shocking. Yes. In fact, for a moment, I, I slowed down. I thought maybe they were distributing bags of rice <laughs> so that I could collect my own. Collect your chair. <laughs> but the crowd was so much. <laughs> I, just, I just looked at them on both sides of the street. Yes. In fact, to turn in front of that building was, 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 was serious. Yes. People were piled upon each other, waiting for Christmas gifts at 7 p.m. Yes. Ah, there is trouble in this country. There is. That 63% uh, uh, 133 million uh, uh, figure that the National Bureau of Statistics gave ah, is real. As for, uh, you know, um, the Obama. candidate of the People's Democratic Party, um, Waziri uh, uh, Atiku Abubakar, yes, also very good message, consistent, preaching unity, identifying with the uh, Christian uh, uh, community. Uh, and that's much better what... Uh, you know, as Ria Chukwu Abubakar said on, in that video, it's much better than a statement that was issued also in his name. But it was written by uh, Frank Shaibo. He, he issued it on behalf of the, uh, uh, of the uh, presidential campaign committee of the PDP. I thought that piece was abusive. The season of Christmas is uh, about peace, love, unity. And Shaibo, in the name of Chukwu Abubakar, just went on ranting about how the APC has uh, destroyed Nigeria, about how uh, petroleum scarcity uh, since January to uh, December, <laughs> the longest ever in the history of Nigeria, and how when Atiku Abubakar gets there, he's going to uh, make sure that there will be no fuel queues and all that. I don't think Christmas occasion is the right Absolutely. occasion to pay, play partisan politics the, that is contained in that statement. But I think Waziri Atiku Abubakar redeemed the situation yes. by making a statesmanly uh, statement. Uh, and we heard from him directly. And this is why, you know, all these uh, spokespersons, assistants, overzealous uh, media managers of these presidential candidates, you know, they, 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 they are causing more of the problems. You know, they, they are delivering messages that their principals may not have sent them. So Christmas is a season of joy. It's not a season for partisanship. Oh, said Dr. Bati Ayo. Absolutely. I'll just write on what um, Dr. Bati said. I agree with um, all you know, his analysis, obviously. But also just to speak to, I think I'll just take one. You know, they've all said very, actually two. Ashwa Jubala made Tinubu's statement on his, the only reference he made to his opponent was a hand of peace, saying that they were all, they were all despite their political differences, they were all Nigerians and wanted the best for this nation. I thought that was laudable. We must, you know, mention this and continue to push this narrative and it must cascade down to their spokespersons as well. And then for Mr. Peter Obi, whether it's symbolic, it's political, whatever it was, it was a fantastic gesture That's for so him true. to have gone to the IDP camp. You know, the tr interesting thing is that there was a time when the IDP camps dominated headlines. Unfortunately, it almost feels as if we've forgotten about them. We've forgotten about these internally displaced people 
and it, like Dr. Bati mentioned, we shouldn't have refugees in our own country who are refugees in their own country. We should, it should be a transition, not a permanent um, fixture, whereby it's a temporary measure to cater to those who have been displaced from um, you know, um, threatened um, places where they, where they domiciled. However, he went there, he says, I see you. I mean, that showed that I see you. I'm going to look after you. And beyond that, whether we like it or not, leaders making big statements like this go a long way. In the UK, rather than making a statement, which is Sunak made calls to public servants who were serving the, um, the, you know, the British people. We know how this goes a long way in boosting the morale of the people. I think it's quite commendable and I must come and, you know, say well done. Well said, Ayo. Rufai? All of them are giving out messages or gestures. Christmas is a time of the truth because the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ symbolizes the truth. And that's why we must speak about the truth of what has happened this Christmas period. It has been a terrible Christmas for a lot of people. If you are in the family of Bolanli Rahim, if you are a member of the family of the 38 people that were killed in Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, you will not say it's Merry Christmas. If you were part of people that couldn't travel home because of the fact that to go from Lagos to Benin it's over 12, 13,000 naira, and they couldn't see their loved ones. You will not say it's Merry Christmas. If you were part of people that couldn't get a basic bag of rice, it used to be less than 10, 15,000 some years ago, but now it's over 50, 52,000, you will not say it's Merry Christmas. See, they can talk all the politics they want to talk, except we have a Christmas where the economy works for a lot of people then you can't have a Merry Christmas. And the reason why we are not moving forward is because we don't think about those that have been left behind in society. We think of ourselves alone. It's merry for us. We can give to others. But what about the people that don't have? It is not everybody that loves to come and beg other people for things during Christmas. It's because they don't have, and that's why. So, except we have a Christmas, that joy is shared above in the hearts of people, that people can truly make merry and be happy, then we have not started. And that's why all of the presidential candidates that released a message or two should remember the challenges that they will face in 2023. Isn't it shocking that till date, nobody has been able to address us on the fear of scarcity as we go into Christmas. Nobody has come out to talk about the death of Bolan Lirahim. Nobody has come out to condemn as much as possible the killing in southern Kaduna. These people too have a right to Christmas. I was happy when Dr. Abati mentioned, do they even know it's Christmas? That was a band aid song released in 1984. Do they know it's Christmas? And it was used to raise awareness for those that were inundated with the famine in Ethiopia then. What Nigerians are facing is more than economic farming today. Some have food they cannot eat. Some can eat but have no food. A lot of Nigerians can eat but they have no food. But until we complete the last part of the prayer that says we have food and we can eat, that's the only time. Glory will be to thee, O Lord. Right. Amen. Well, still on Peter Obi's visit to Benue State, let's take a reactions following Governor Samuel Autumn's seeming endorsement of the Labour Party presidential candidate. Autumn on Sunday made the call for Nigerians to vote for Peter Obi in the 2023 elections, stating that Obi is the best person that can help deliver Nigeria from its challenges. Autumn also stated that he would have been everywhere campaigning for Peter Obi if he was not with the PDP. The Benue governor spoke while commending Peter Obi for visiting the internally displaced persons camp in the state on Christmas Day. Let's take some tweets. This is from Okpa Nachi, who wrote, This is direct endorsement. Governor Wike will complete the endorsement by January. Peter Obi is the next president of Nigeria, said the Lord. Soon, Baba Olusegun Obasanjo will also join the campaign openly. Well, John wrote, This is big confusion, oh, the same 
is happening to Wike and others. Why can't they just leave PDP ones to clear their conscience? Many are working on the ground for Peter Obi's victory. Dr. Abati, over to you on this comment. I mean, we, I think we discussed Wike last week where he was talking about, uh, you know, Come January, you know my uh, chosen presidential candidate. I mean, it is clear or it shows that this G5 governors maybe are perhaps, you know, going against the PDP directly this way. I mean, what do you make of this? Okay, the question to raise here is, says uh, Samuel Autumn, yeah. governor of Benue State, uh, letting us in yeah. on a particular secret. Because this is coming shortly after Governor Wiki had said, in January, yes. he's going to make an ash-shaking pronouncement about who will be the next president of Nigeria and who he will support. Uh, Azumi, of course, that is in a position to dictate into existence who that uh, president will be. But at least it's clear he will support someone. And then uh, here you have his uh, strong ally, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the governor of Benue State, uh, openly saying it will be he's a good man, people should... Uh, vote for him. Well, he didn't use the word endorse, but the interpretation that, that is out there exactly. is that it's an endorsement. But yeah. let's wait to January when uh, Governor Wiki, who is the leader of the integrity group within the PDP, uh, makes his own pronouncement. And then we'll know where exactly uh, Governor Autumn stands, because it's not likely he will go against the uh, integrity uh, group's uh, decision or his friend Wiki's uh, decision. However, let it be clear that if they say they want to support somebody in another political party, that amounts to anti-party activity. Yep. And the party, you know, would uh, be filling in its function, or the board of trustees of the party would be filling in its functions. If it allows members of his own party to be campaigning openly for another presidential uh, candidate. So these are the issues, because the integrity of the party itself it's important. Ayo, Rufai, we have less than 40 seconds. Rufai, go first, quickly. Less than 40 seconds. Let us wait till January. But one thing is certain. The best candidates for Nigerians will be decided by Nigerians. And that's why, please, I beg you, Nigerians, vote wisely. Shine your eye. <laughs> Don't let anybody deceive you with money. Money is but a fleeting, fickle, merchandise. It will go and suffering will remain if you don't do what is right. Well said, Rufai. Ayo. Talking about one vote, one person, don't forget that you can still pick up your PVCs even during the festive season. And their offices are open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. even on public, on public holidays. Oh, well said, yeah. Ayo. Well, <laughs> thank you all thank for you your great analysis as always on What's Trending. Well, that's all I have for you on What's Trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow.